Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I had a really great haul. Uh, I went to an estate sale Thursday morning. I got up at 8, it started at 8 a.m. and I got there 30 minutes ahead of time because I was very anxious and I wanted to be like first in line. Um, I pulled up and there was like one other car there and as soon as I pulled up, that person decided to get out of their car. So she walked up, I walked up, and uh, we kind of sat in line uh, in front of the garage door. It was closed and we waited to go in and they opened right at 8 a.m. So we, um, I walked right on into the garage and immediately to my left, there was this uh, green, really old looking cabinet that I really thought was cool looking. And there was a sticker on it that said free. I was just like, you know, I'm like free. So um, I immediately took the sticker off because it was kind of buried under some things. And I went into the house and went straight to the woman that was in charge of it. That was, she was running the sale. This is a privately owned estate sale, by the way. And I said, here's the sticker to that green cabinet that's outside or that's right in the garage when you first walk into the left. And I just want to let you know that <clears throat> I want this ca cabinet and I'm just showing you so you know, so I can get it later. Like, you know, when I go to check out. And she was like, that's fine, that's great. So um, I do some shopping, go all around the place and I get a good bundle of stuff and then I decide to go back out to the garage to start looking to see what else they have because they had some things um, on tables out there. So I go out there and I look over and I see that they are starting to this guy is there, this other guy, shopper, and the other guy that was helping the woman run it was starting to take things off of the top of it and pull it out. And I was like, whoa, what are you guys doing? I, uh, and they're like, oh, we're just, you know, pulling this out. And I'm like, well, I just want to let you know that I already claimed this with the pulling the sticker off. There was a sticker on there and it said free and I took it and I, and he was like, oh, I said, yeah. So, uh, I mean, just letting you know. And the guy that wanted it was like, well, um, I said, I'm going to put it in my booth for like probably around $65. And the guy was like, well, would you take 50 for it? I'm like, okay. I was like, all right, fine. So I did not move a stick of furniture, did not pay a dime for it. And he gave me $50. <laughs> uh, so that's interesting. Really interesting. Uh, and so with that forementioning of, of that happening, I literally spent about $15 on everything that I got and it is going to give me over $1,800 in profit. So I, I want to show you the green cabinet really quick. I have it up on my computer. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look right here. It's kind of a, it's a cool cabinet, I think. It's right here, just a minute. <clears throat> trying to get the angle correct. Uh, it's right there, it's an old green style. It has green on there and it's wood, it has casters on the bottom. And um, it was free. So I was wanting that for my booth to put, you know, for to have like a nice character piece in there. And so I was really, I was really excited to see it because I, wanted something like that to kind of, you know, add a little bit of character to the booth. And so a little bit disappointed in the moment of selling it, but for $50 and I did nothing except just be there early and claim it, I'm okay with that. So uh, that was the big story of the day. And let's get right onto the haul. By the way, there are two hauls I'm going to be doing because there is so much to get through. The first haul is a mismatch of everything, basically. <clears throat> and the second haul is going to be the uh, vintage Christmas, Halloween, Easter, and then I have vintage aprons and linens and a couple extra things. So there'll be, I won't be doubling up anything. You'll get half the haul in this video and half of the haul in the next video. Well, let's get on to it. All right, the first thing that I was really excited to see were these aluminum 
tumblers. These were right in the garage and they were all in a flat. All of these tumblers along with these coasters, they were in a flat for $2. So I picked those right up and I took them straight into the house and set them in the corner where I proceeded to just keep adding and adding and adding things for that next three or four hours. Yes, I was at an estate sale for about four hours. Uh, it was that good. And I just kept going through the house, looking and looking. So um, these are really cool. I need my paper because I made notes of different prices and stuff. Oh, darn it, I dropped my paper. Okay, um, so there, this aluminum one, these are aluminum tumblers here with the caddy. The caddy is kind of and not the best shape, but one could probably paint that if they really wanted to. Um, and I expect to sell the caddy with the tumblers for $49.95. One quick thing about these tumblers, they're all made by different companies. I was only familiar with the Miro company, um, but apparently there were lots of them. These, now not all of them are marked, only a couple are, so I know the maker. I think it's this one here. And on the bottom is the Heller, there we go, Heller Hostess Wear. So that's these, and they all match. They have that kind of flared lip to them. And that is that set. And then this set here is Bas Baskel. No, it's not. This is per Perma, Perma Hues. And these actually have very, the color is very good. Um, meaning there's not much wear at all compared to like some of these other ones. So the name really stood by their product, didn't it? Perma Hughes. That's those. And then here we have um, Sunburst, a set of seven of those. And then lastly here is Baskel. So all different brands. Now I said 50 for these. For this little set right here, um, $14.95. For this set right here, the Sunburst, that's $25. And this other Baskel set, $25. And then the coasters, they're kind of cool too. They, they kind of have a Tex-Mex or a Mexican theme to them with sombreros, cactus, cactus, um... I don't know what those are. Llama, I don't know what those are. Uh, yeah. Um, so, pretty cool. I forget the word, but the, there's a the 50s thing where they do the Mexican, I don't know. I thought there was a kind of a movement with that. I don't remember. Um, but all this great aluminum stuff, very, very cool. Next, I got this light. Paid 25 cents for it which is just outstanding. Oh, I miss the state still so much. Here we are. Beautiful and just pristine shape from the 70s. Lovely, lovely lamp. Very nice and super clean shape. Wow. And so that one I expect to sell for about $19.95 at least. Uh, I haven't double checked the research, but uh, it's at least 20 bucks right there. Right here, we've got a shaker, and uh, there's actually swizzle sticks in there, which I'll probably um, pull those out and sell them by themselves. I have some other swizzle sticks in a jar somewhere that I also picked up at the sale. But um, this little guy right here will probably sell for about $12, and it's um, in pretty clean shape. I gotta clean that, but at least $12. This is a really nice shaker. Right here we have this um, sugar, can, uh, sugar shake, sugar pouring thing. What do you call those? It holds sugar. And I sold one of these before, but it was in a Pyrex coordinating pattern. And when I seen this, I figured that it was just a, another one of those Corel or Pyrex patterns that would be easily identifiable. And then I could just put that in the tag and then if someone had this matching set, then they would have this. But apparently this isn't um, a coordinating set to anything. It's just a, one of those retro designs with some flowers on it. So I think I'll still be able to sell it for um, 
about ten dollars right here we've got a nice aladdin metal thermos with the plaid um designing on there and i expect this little guy here to sell for about 15 bucks but it's definitely a very cool piece i also bought this little mickey bank there he is um the unbreakable bank is on the bot the back and i paid a dollar for it um, most everything at this sale was 25 cents but i did pay um a couple dollars for a few things but most everything was 25 cents, which is why I was able to get just so much. Um, go right here real quick. I picked up this little light switch cover and it's just a really nice Victorian style Japan. And that is the Home Co logo, I believe from Home Interiors. Um, but I expect to sell this for bet uh, between 10 and $15. It's in really nice shape and the double style is pretty cool to find. I grabbed these mustard and ketchup squeeze bottles. This this one is worn. There sh uh, should be more to that guy. Um, and I don't even know for sure if these go together because the designs are a little bit different. But um, I will sell them together for probably $8. Um, and again, 25 cents I paid for those. Each one of these salt and pepper shakers were 50 cents. Unfortunately, the woman had a sale the previous week, or no, not the previous week, like a whole month before this, and I had no clue about it. Well, I ran the lady that I ran into at the sale, she was the first one besides me. Um, I was talking to her outside of the garage door, and she said that the previous sale, they had like hundreds of salt and pepper shakers, and she herself got a, a hundred or so. Of them so I feel really bad about missing it but I was still able to find these so over here we've got these really cool pineapple uh, mid-century salt and pepper shakers uh, marked Japan on the bottom and then I think there's even a marking on the very bottom yeah actually I did not look this up so I don't know what that logo is by chance if anybody happens to know just drop it down below. I'll look it up either way though, because I'm very curious about it. So those are really, really neat mid-century pineapples. I grabbed these up. Um, these have the exact same shape as Hazel Atlas shakers that I've sold before in the Platinite, which are just like a solid uh, milk glass fired on color. Um, but these have just the red stripes on them in the bullet shape. Uh, grab these really cool elephants up. There's a minor um, chip right there, but they are marked, whoops, they are marked Japan, I thought. No, they're not, but I mean, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? They are old. So I grabbed those little Dumbo guys up for 50 cents. Also grab these bowling pins. I have a booth at an exist, it used to be a bowling alley. So I um, picked these up for 50 cents. So if I don't sell them in the booth, I'll definitely sell them online um, for at least $10. I grabbed these little potatoes up, again, 50 cents. Um, I'm not really sure how they'll do, but I've never seen potato salt and pepper shakers. So figured why not? These are little peaches, um, 50 cents again. Uh, they're nothing too exciting, but I've just never bought any pe uh, peaches before. I guess they're peaches, aren't they? Yeah, peaches before. Russ, um, Russ and Bernie, or Russ, Berry and Company. Uh, so I'm not sure the age. I think probably late 80s, if I had to guess. We've got here some deer doing their deer thing and the bottom oh my relco hand painted a relco creation japan and we've got the pair of deer again just notice his little antlers screwed up um i don't think that's going to be a huge deal though i grabbed these really cool cacti shakers um this one was still in its packaging, but it was branded 
for I think Sereno or somewhere in Arizona. And I just decided to take that off because it's more marketable without it, honestly. Um, and I'd rather see it out of the packaging. So we got this one and this pair right back here. And then I think the last shaker I got was these set of owls and um, they're still in their box. If I could open it, here we are. And nothing very exciting, but owls are very popular. So might as well, might as well pick them up. Over here, I got this Panasonic pencil sharpener. It does work. I sharpened some pencils already and I paid $2 for it, but this should sell for at least $20. Um, where are we at? Up here, I got this Miro aluminum steamer. Comes with the steamer basket inside. It was 25 cents in very good shape. Has the handle and uh, I'm really happy to find that. 25 cents I paid and they sell for about $15. I also grabbed this portafile. I see these all the time, but for some reason I thought I'd just grab it this time. Um, and see if I can sell it. There are hundreds, about hundreds of these online, so I don't know how it's gonna sell, but for 25 cents, I figured I'd just go ahead and try. But I see these all the time popping up at auctions and things, and I usually just ignore them. But for some reason, I'm starting to think that maybe this could be useful for people that wanna file things in a retro way. I don't know. Um, let's see, where do I wanna go? Uh, the stuff in this corner, I'll just go, I'll just go to this corner. Now the stuff in this corner right here, which is these two glasses, this, the plates, and these guys, these came from that one sale that I go to where you kind of just buy whatever you want, you grab whatever you want, and then you donate whatever you want. So I spent, I only spent $4, $4 on this stuff. Um, it's not that exciting, but it it is what it is. So these glasses are kind of cool. I might even hang on to them uh because they're just so random but i grab those up and then over here we have some hazel atlas modern tone this is not the platinite this is just modern tone as far as i know it has a red and a black band on it these are the sherbert cups and i have um seven no two four six eight ten. what two four six eight ten eleven 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 Oh my gosh, get it together. 11 Sherbert cups, and I'm gonna divide them up into uh, two groups of four, and then I don't know what I'm doing. So it should equal, <laughs> I wrote it down somewhere, let me see. Um, uh, boy. Hmm. I'm really out of order right now. I'm gonna make money on those, trust me, I don't know. It's, I think it's like around $40, I think, or it's whatever. These I'm probably gonna redonate because uh, I looked them up and they're not really doing too well online. They are Nortaki, Grasmere, and there's not really any presence online of them. Uh, Replacements.com is selling them for about $8 a piece. So $8 for the plates, $8 for those guys. Um, <clears throat> but they're just so random. I don't know. I don't really care to deal with this, so I might just redonate them. I was excited to see these little guys here. We have a puppy, um, another one, and then a little tiny cat, a little tiny one. This one's so small. There it is. So I, I grabbed those up too. And then the last thing I got from that sale was this Pyrex uh, coffee pot. And it's really dirty. I'll clean that up. And actually it's kind of worn. The starbursts are pretty worn in some spots. So not really, really exciting stuff from that sale, but as you can see, I've made up with it just in the small bit that I've showed you so far at the other sale. Uh, down here, I found this box. They had to sell a box of these Pringle glasses. I've never seen these, but there's a lot of them. So what I'm gonna do is sell them in two sets of six. 
and there they are up close, Pringle. And I'll sell them for, I think it was $40 a set. So that's $80 worth of glasses right there and I paid $2 for the box. Over here, I have these really nice, I forgot the brand, um, Comet, there they are, Comet, the popular aluminum. And so we have a coffee pot, our coffee percolator, and this little one. So I'm gonna sell the pair together, I believe, for around $40. But everything's there. They have the glass, they have the glass knobs. Let me see if I can, oops. Yeah, so I assume everything is there. So that's in there. The, the smaller one I don't believe has, I don't believe the smaller one has this stuff in it. I don't know if it's supposed to have it or not. No, it's just that. So, don't know. Maybe this is a little T one or something. Uh, and then I grabbed this little guy here for 25 cents, one of these collapsible rulers. And I sell these for about $8 in my booth. These clutches I just had to pick up. This one's a little coin purse and it was 25 cents. So I'll sell this for between uh, eight to $10. And this other clutch here is, um, I actually didn't even pull it out. I just left it, I just, yeah, it's really nice. It's a beaded clutch in white and um, I'll probably sell this one for around, whoops around 15. And it has, whoops, darn it. it. has a built-in zipper thing in there. Really nice. Okay, and this little corner here is just for me. So I bought an umbrella for a dollar. Actually, I'll probably sell this. Uh, I thought this was a really cool retro umbrella for a dollar. And um, I'll do a little research online if I think it's worth selling. And I don't even know what what it's of, if it's an interesting designer, I don't know. Um, but it's never been opened. Uh, I, <laughs> I picked up some Glad Cling wrap. It's a good heavy box of it for 25 cents. And um, I like buying supply, yeah, it's completely full. I like buying stuff like that when I can. And I got this little owl wind chime. I thought that would be kind of cute. I thought I was gonna sell it, but I don't like that they wrote 25 cents on there. So I'm just gonna probably keep it and put it outside. Oh my God. I bought this for 25 cents. It's a whole pack of one, two, three, four, five, 12 bars of soap. 12 bars of soap for 25 cents. And then these, um, got some bowls. I uh, remember these when I was younger. There's those those Chinese balls that I guess you're supposed to sit there and do this with or other things, I don't know. I'll YouTube it and figure out if there's a point to them. It's, the box is pretty beat up, so I'm not gonna try to sell it, but I remember these. I think they sold them at the dollar store. I don't remember for sure, but uh, that's just the small group of things that I'm gonna keep for sure. Oh, and then there was this little green hat that I found in the closet for a quarter. It originally had $2 on it, but um, I did not pay $2 for that. It was, oh, I guess I paid 50 cents for it because it is marked 50 cents on that side. Um, but it's a really nice green suede, I guess, hat. There's the logo in there. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna sell that for either, but probably the $10 to $15 range. And then there's that little uh, plate. I did not buy this intentionally. It came with something else. Foreman family. It's upside down. Okay. Um, forgot what else I was supposed to be going over in this video. Oh, I think we're about done in this, in this particular video. So we're getting there. Okay. I got this little burlap sack for 25 cents. It's nothing too exciting, but this is a good booth item and I'll probably put four or five dollars on it. Next thing is this quilt. It was a, uh, a dollar, I think. 
I think it was a dollar. It was either a dollar or 50 cents. Oh boy, I should have had this open here. So it's a smaller quilt, kind of like a lap blanket size. And uh, I'll put that in the booth for maybe $20. Oh, I didn't do this whole corner. I knew I was forgetting stuff. But while I'm over here, we'll go down here. This was for free, this basket. It's just a really cool looking basket. And um, I'll put that in the booth for probably around 10 to $15. Okay, so I got this croc. I'm not usually a croc buyer because they there's a lot of collectors over here. But this is a really nice crock. It's a number six crock or six gallon crock. And here is the price of $3 on a number six crock. I about fell over. I didn't. I instead just picked it up and ran. Um, no, like I don't know much about crocks, but I thought that it was worth... This is worth at least $40. I mean, come on. So, uh, I don't know. There's not really any cracks. That looked like one, but it's so, it's very smooth. It doesn't go through. The outside is really nice. Yeah, that's, I mean, nothing. So, I mean, I just grabbed it. So, <sighs> I don't know. She was just one. She had a lot of stuff and was just trying to get rid of everything. Okay. <clears throat> we just got this little corner right here and then we'll be done with this video and then that, that'll be good for the, until the next one. Uh, over here. Oh, I got this little box right here. It's a wood one with a little iron design on top. It was a quarter. I'll put this in the booth for probably eight to $10, but it's just a nice little trinket box. 25 cents. Um, these are really cool. I got the set of three for a dollar. It's a ketchup, mustard, and um, pickle, uh, and jam and jelly jar. These bigger ones, these are slightly bigger and they have the metal things. And then I got another identical set that are just tinier. Just a, it's just tiny, a little tiny bit smaller. And they're the exact same things ketchup and mustard. Um, uh, I wish I had spoons to go with all these. I might, I don't know. I, I probably will just use my own spoons for the picture and then just have a disclaimer that I'm not including them. But they're really awesome and I paid, yeah, I think a dollar for each set. I don't know where the, oh, and it's marked on the bottom there. Kitchen King Japan. I will sell this larger set for, oh, I'm so, oh, here we go. The larger set for about 25 and the smaller set for between uh, 18 and 20, somewhere in there. Um, got this little Al trinket dish, probably sell him for, oh gosh, I don't know, like $8. This was a free seashell. It was in a box. They ha She had a lot of free things. So I uh, I looked through all those kind of stuff. Free seashell. I'll put that in my booth for like, I don't know, a couple dollars. And then I got these little musical instruments. 25 cents for that. And this one also 25, 25 cents. Rotary phone, $2. That is a great, great price. Um, and I'll sell that for about 30, 35. Once I clean the paint off and I get all that guck out of there, it will be sparkling and ready for display. Maybe use if you can convert them. That's an old prong. <laughs> Got this little tile ashtray, mid-century yellow with the varying tiles in here <clears throat> on a gold base and um, <clears throat> I probably will only sell this for maybe $12 maybe $15 got another cute little cat thing here this one is a planter mark Japan on the bottom and it's a cat looking through um, a plant or something which is just kind of funny because it's a planter so snatch that up for a quarter as well in really nice shape 
And then I was really excited. I dug through a box trying to find different kitchen things that everything was just all over the place. Uh, and I found this. It's really cool. It's a pineapple napkin holder. And it's a, that Kish style, um, Kish style pineapple. So I just had to get that for a quarter. Probably sell this for about $15. Uh, this is a Huck and Yogi glass, 25 cents. There is some uh, some issues. I don't know if that's due to just deposits, dishwasher deposits, and if it can be cleaned. But if it can be cleaned, this online, there were people are trying to sell this for like think around thirty dollars. So I'm not really sure, but um, I expect to sell it for at least twenty once I clean it. Right here we have an even flow pitcher from the 70s <clears throat> in really nice shape. Also paid a quarter for it. And it has the measurements right there. And then I got this bowling pin um, sticks. What do you call those? The uh, appetizer for, uh, you know, party sticks. Got, got those for a quarter. And then... Lastly, in this haul video, I think we're finally there, lastly, is this really, really cool, it's a glass bake refrigerator dishes, so it has that real fun handle on the top, and she had them for a dollar a piece. I walked through that house maybe five times, six times, every time finding more and more stuff that I missed, you know, the time before, and so it was really fun, and I, I picked these up. These were one of like the last things that I found ironically but they were in a cabinet and the cabinet was kind of hard to see through so you had to really kind of hunt for things sometimes and uh yeah I grabbed those right up so that is the first haul video I have a second one coming let me know what you thought I ugh, don't think I forgot anything I got those I got that stuff the stuff behind it yeah that's it that's all for this haul video it's long enough let me know in the comments below what you thought and like and subscribe if you haven't i got one more haul coming with the fabrics and the halloween and the christmas and all that easter too uh thanks for watching Bye bye